Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Long before our time, jigs were catching fish. Unlike many other inventions, they're just as effective today as way back when. By choosing from an endless variety of soft plastic and organic add-ons, the versatility of jigs is limitless. With the right setup, you can easily work heavy structure, fast river currents, and even cover water in a hurry. Although it's hard to improve on a good thing, there have been some recent innovations that put more fish in the boat. Besides painted eye holes, one of the biggest headaches in jigging has always been the frequent retying to suit changing conditions. Water depth, wind, and the mood of fish dictate changes in jig weight and quite often color. The new X-Change jig system from Lindy allows you to do just that, minus the inconvenience of retying. In mere seconds, you're back in action. Time saved translates into more fish. Introduced just recently, the Lindy Darter adds new meaning to the art of jigging. While not a true jig in the traditional sense, it's a heavyweight hybrid. Designed primarily for ice fishing, it has a built-in rattle that makes it irresistible anywhere. Under the ice, in deep, stained water, the erratic action and sound attracted fish from distances well beyond the range of vision. In its basic form, a jig is nothing more than a hook with a fixed weight. What makes it special is the way it's dressed and presented. Most of us immediately think of the standard up and down action, but you can easily swim jigs just like a crankbait or work bottom while maintaining a tight line and solid contact. There are times when a suspended motionless jig is the way to go. Just witness the reaction of these cold front walleye. This demonstrates the value of choosing something they want and presenting it at a speed dictated by the activity level of the fish. It also shows the importance of a quality rod with a sensitive tip for detecting bites. Armed with the same tackle, some guys still manage to outfish everyone else. Through years of experience, they've taken it to the next level. Part of this lies in detecting strikes that are easily missed and then reacting instantly. It takes confidence and concentration and can be developed to instinctive levels. Many of these hits occur on the drop. All you get is a tap or an early stop. With jigging techniques, subtle changes make a world of difference. Try quivering a jig when you think fish are looking. Movement is everything in this game. Using rod action, you literally talk to the fish in your own personalized way. When it comes to jigging, it really is all in the wrist action. During the past few years, all you seem to hear about is drop shot for bass. Acclaimed for Great Lakes smallmouth, you may be surprised to hear, it's just another one of those old ideas making a reappearance. Since this recent inception, drop shot rigs have proven their worth for largemouth as well. In our trials, we couldn't find any fish that didn't respond to this deadly technique, including steelhead. Fish simply prefer to see a meal at eye level and in the strike zone. With a fixed hook and weight, you can't help but keep things in plain view, particularly in rocks or weeds. The real merit of this system is bait control. Let it sit for a finesse bite or work hard to trigger reluctant fish. The only drawback to these rigs is the need to retie everything when making changes. One solution is to leave extra line below the hook. Then add pinch down split shot instead of a swivel drop shot. That way, it's easy to move, remove, or add weights to make any instant adjustments. While many believe in matching weights to bottom color, our findings have proven otherwise. Fish are genuinely attracted to the dull, metallic look of sinkers. Maybe it's time to start attaching hooks to those weights.